Como sabe, señora Ocean, la libertad condicional es un privilegio. Fue un error. Uh, pero sucedió. Y si me soltaran, solo querría... Una vida sencilla. Ir a trabajar, ver a mis amigas. How did you get to the movie? Uh, was your idea, the studio's idea? It was my idea. Um, I had this idea about five years ago, right after The Hunger Games, which was also a female protagonist, right? And that sort of stayed with me and had an impact on me. And I, that was probably the most gratifying thing about doing that movie. And so uh, I, when I had this idea, I thought, well, no, we've never seen this before. We've never seen an ensemble like this, of these kind of women together. and that, struck me as a kind of an interesting an interesting the more i realized that it never happened the more i realized it should and it had to and that was five years ago mm -hmm. so uh it took a long time to bring it all together to try to get it made to put this cast together to levitate this yeah and many have changed in five years yeah in the industry and how did you pick the cast what did you have in mind? Well, uh, originally Sandy, we, we approached before there was ever a screenplay even. Kate we always wanted. In fact, we wrote the character and named her Kate. Um, uh, and then eventually, just before shooting, Kate gently told us that was not a great idea. And perhaps we should not name it for her anymore, so we changed the name. But um, as you add characters, this dynamic that begins to form, this thing happens in front of you and each choice that you add changes the other choices around it and you realize how the characters can modify. Um, so for example, uh, the character of Mindy Kaling was not originally written for someone who is Indian American, but in Jackson Heights, Queens, there's a thriving Indian community that has a large jewelry industry within it. So this made so much sense and I'm a huge fan of Mindy's. So stuff like that that adjusted as we went through. And how did you write the his himself? Did you go to the med and see where the camera were? Or? It's a yeah, it's a bit of that. It's like you know what the physical thing is, but at the same time you're building backwards from the obstacles and the solutions, which is an interesting job. There's inevitably holes that you end up having to shoot more stuff than you think, because heists are complicated, right? So, uh, so there was some of that, but um, you know, it's it's kind of yeah, it's like building a machine sort of. Um, do you think, uh, because you told me about the Hunger Games and the importance of a, ma a mm -hmm. female character, this kind of movie are going to redefine what people think when they think about female women, uh, female movies? What do you mean? I'm sorry. Because sometimes we think about female women like just romantic movies. Oh, that and redefines yeah, uh, like the role of the women, others, you mean? Always think about these kind of movies, but uh -huh. with this movie, everyone can identify well, themselves, like identify with male uh, mm, characters in other kind of movies. Of course. Well, I hope so. You know, I mean, I think one of the nice things about this movie is that not only is it women, but it's not about men. They're not doing this for sake of a man. They're doing this for themselves. And um, yeah, there's a vengeful uh, motivation for Debbie Ocean's character, but it's not a major part of the movie. I mean, the major thing in the movie is they want to come together and they want to steal this stuff unapologetically the way men have in movies for decades. And I think, you know, it doesn't seem like that should be a leap forward, but it actually is. And for that to have, be able to happen now, I'm very, very glad for. And I do think it kind of reshapes the way we see certain things. Yeah, it's really interesting in the movie where they talk about, should we have like a male? Because right. in the other oceans, they never ask themselves, should we have a woman? A woman around. Yeah, right. That, that's, uh, you did it on purpose. I mean, to be like really conscious of, in the movie. Well, I mean, uh, Sandy was the one who pitched me that line. And we thought it was a fun thing to acknowledge. Like, okay, well, why is this all women? Like, you know, instead of just like pretending that's a given. And uh, it was Sandy's idea, like, no, this invisibility helps us. I don't want a guy, it draws more attention. And I thought that was such a great idea. We kind of pitched the line back and forth and put it in the film. ¿Es genético? ¿Toda la familia es así? Toda. 